Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called I Don't Want to Be by Gavin DeGraw. And, and we're going to end up moving this with the capo to third fret, but we're going to kind of talk about all the licks and root position. And it starts out with a really, really cool lick, and actually there's a couple ways you can play it where you can play third fret on the low E string, it's kind of a G note, and then go to fifth fret on the low E string, it's kind of an A note. So it kind of starts out with that G A, 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 through the verse. And you could play that third fret on the low E string to open A if that's a little bit easier for you to kind of play the G A, G A, G A, G A, G A through that part and you know, working it that way. Another possibility is to use something called power chords. And the way you play a G5 power chord, first finger just kind of stays on the low E on the third fret, third finger goes to the A string on the fifth fret. And if you kind of play just the E and the A strings together, that's called a G5 power chord. And you're actually playing the root in the fifth of the chord, which is a G and a D note. And then from there, we can kind of slide that shape to 5th and 7th fret to kind of play an A5. So now i got 1st finger on the low E string on the 5th fret, 3rd finger on the A string on the 7th fret. So you can kind of work those shapes for, for kind of that G A, 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 G A. It's kind of an intro lick. But those, those licks are really kind of implying and around an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And a lot of times with a song like this, actually to kind of fill time and kind of match the drummer, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4, and we'll talk about another one later on actually that, that I think could be a lot of fun to play with it. But one of my favorite ones is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Possibility because of that lick going G to A is you could take the A minor chord from where you are and take the pinky and kind of add him in on the low E string on the fourth fret, and that's where that G note is for that riff. So if you wanted to, you could kind of work that strum pattern, but then try and get the pinky to kind of make that that lick happen. Basically, from our verse, and actually, the, with that strum pattern, I actually feel like you have to go get kind of fast through that, but we'll talk about another one in a moment. But we'll basically be repeating that for our verse until we get to our chorus part. And on our chorus, actually, we start on an F major chord, and we'll talk about a really easy way to play that. But if you know the full bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, you can substitute in something called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds an F major 7. And then from the F major 7 on, on the chorus, we're going to be going to a C major chord. We play C major. First finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret. The second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret. The third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. We play G major. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret. And third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then there's kind of a really quick A minor and then a G chord at the very, very end of our chorus. So we kind of have F, C, G, A minor, G. So with the strum pattern where the A minor G happens at the very end, you can kind of half that by doing just a down, down up on each chord. And we have F with down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G minor, down. kind of a G with a down, down, up, up, and then hit the A minor with kind of a down at the very end. 
So last time you got G with down, down, up, up, A minor. G down, down, up, up, A minor, down. So that last time through, you got F, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, A minor. And then from there, we'll be repeating a lot of those parts until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge part, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. The way you play E minor. First finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a E minor chord that sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor chord in our bridge, we're going to be going to an A major chord. When we play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And actually, we kind of get to do our whole strum pattern on, on two E minors, but then our, our, our last E minor A kind of halves in kind of a weird way, where you can have an E minor with a down, down, up, up, and then hit the A with a down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So we tried that strum pattern through that first part of the bridge. We got E minor, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, A down. So we got E minor, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, A with down, up, up. And then there's this really cool lick that kind of comes in where you play open A, and then third fret on the low E string, and then second fret on the low E string is kind of kind of a hit. So you're going A, G, F sharp, A, G, F sharp. Now if you wanted to, you could kind of back that up with the chord. So you could play kind of an A major instead of just the A note a G chord, and then the chord that's kind of going around for that F sharp note is something called D slash F sharp. So it's really a D chord, but there's an F sharp in the bass. And one way to play that chord is to take your first finger and go low E on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the high E on the second fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a D slash F sharp chord. Now another way you could kind of play around with that too is to kind of do the regular D with one, two, and three and kind of take your thumb and go over the low E string on the second fret. So either one of those could work to kind of back up that lick going A, G, D slash F sharp, A, G, D slash F sharp, A, G, D slash F sharp. Or if you're kind of digging on the power chord idea, you could take the A5 and then work it to the G5. And then for the D slash F sharp, if you kind of take your first finger and go down to second fret on the low E, and kind of take the pinky or the third finger to go to the A string on the, on the fifth fret, that's a D note and an F sharp note. So it's kind of implying that D major chord with an F sharp in the bass, but it's more of a kind of a power chord kind of shape. I guess I would call that a, a D3 slash F sharp or something. I'm not, not sure exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but you'd have A, G, D slash F sharp. A, G, D slash F sharp. So that could be kind of cool to kind of work that, that shape out here too, if you kind of dig that. And then from there, then we pick it back up on the C chord with a down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is the high on the second fret. And third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that's, that's your regular D major chord. So that would be another way to kind of work that at the very end. So then you have C down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, up, the very, very end of the bridge. So if we took it back from, from the very, very beginning and kind of go over all those different parts, the weird thing is to play along with Gavin, instead of starting on an A minor chord, he's actually starting on a C minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is kind of take the capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your A minor chord is really a C minor chord. Your F major is really an A flat major. Your C major is really an E flat major. Your G is really a B flat major. And when we get to it, the E minor chord is really a G minor chord. And your D major is really a, an F major chord. And your A major chord is really a C major chord. But to take it from the very, very beginning, you can kind of work it with that lick, that intro lick, where we got that 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 3-5, 
strum through it, we can kind of take the A minor for the down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can kind of experiment with the A minor slash G chord. Parts. We tried our first with our strum pattern. We have A minor down, up, up, down, A minor down, 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 down, up, up, down, A
And then from there, we'd be going into our bridge part. And if we tried that with just the down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have E minor, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, okay, down, up, up, down, up, down, E minor, down. the chords we got the A G D A G D A G D or if you dig it on that power chord idea we have that A G D slash F sharp A G D slash F sharp A G D slash F sharp and then we kind of pick it back up on our C chord where we got the down down up up down through the down down up up down through the down down up up down up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down up so we tried that with our bass notes we have E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low E bass down up, up down E minor with low into a chorus part that kind of sounds like you just be doing downs on each chord, at least at the beginning. So you'd have kind of F, C, G, A minor, G, F, C, G, A minor, G, and then we kind of pick it back up with our strum pattern. So we tried that with our basses. We have the bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, G with low E bass down, down the bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, G with low E bass down, down the bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass down, up, up, down, G with low E bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down. Now one other thing I would think about using with the tune is actually something called a 16th note strum pattern. And right now if you're tapping your foot to the B, actually we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and kind of do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you got one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the fourth beat, you're going down up down up right along with the one two three four so down up 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 so all together you got long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up now the weird thing about using that strum pattern through the song is a lot of times Every two chords that we were playing now is one as far as the feel goes. So we were trying our verse with that strum pattern. We have an A minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up,
experiment with that. And sometimes I get a little bass crazy, and sometimes I kind of dig on bass, bass down, 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 bass down, 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 bass, bass down, down, bass down, down, bass, bass down, down, bass down, down, bass, bass down, down, bass down, down. So when we get to our chorus part, the weird thing is it. What it really kind of feels like in the tune is you do a down, down, down on each of the chords until we get to the A minor G. And on that part, you'd be doing just a really quick down, down up on each of those chords. So we tried kind of doing the long down, down, down up, kind of the first half of that 16th strum pattern through our chorus. I mean, I'd be down, down, down to the 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 down, 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 Actually, if you, if you kind of dig on this, you can kind of take the G and go down, up, up, and kind of hit the A minor, actually, at the very, very end. It's kind of a little syncopation thing for that down, down, or up, up, down that we were doing before. I kind of throw it in some ups instead. So you got G down, up, up, A minor on the down, kind of for that last hit. So you got F with down, 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 C down, 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 G down, up, up, A minor. But if you wanted to, you can kind of throw in your bass notes, too, kind of on the first one that we're doing of each chord. So another way to do it would kind of be doing the F of the bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the low E bass, down, down to the A bass, down to the low E bass, down, down to the bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the low E bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the low E bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the low E bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the low E bass, down, down to the bass, down, down to the A bass. Of applied that strum pattern to our bridge, we kind of end up doing that whole down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up on the E minor. And then when we get to the E minor A split, we could kind of word that as kind of a down, 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 and then kind of hit the A on the up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we tried it that way. We'd have E minor with a little down, 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 up. to do kind of that down, down, down up on the C and then a whole strum pattern on the D. So we if we tried it that way, we'd have C with a down, 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 D, down, 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 up on the D. And if we tried that with our bass notes, we'd have E minor with the bass, down, down, up, of how you can play I Don't Want to Be by Gavin DeGraw. So good luck!